let's just start out with telling us a little bit about your characters. Uh, I'll start with you, Sylvie. Um, my character's name is Love, uh, L-U-V, you write it, and she's um, Yander Wallace's right hand. In the movie, she, she'll do anything in the whole world for him. Um, they have a very intense, complex relationship, I would say. And I think, you know, she's very much in search of her own identity, as, you know, other characters in the film are as well. I play Joy. Joy is uh, obviously very important in Kay's life. She's uh, his lover and best friend and only friend, the only person he can trust to and share what he's going through. And she's kind of, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel for him. And she's there to push him to, you know, follow that path and find those answers that he needs to know about. <laughs> My character's name is Mariette, and she comes into Kay's life um, and has sort of a, an intermittent relationship to him um, in the movie. I don't know how to describe yeah. her. Like, just and there, she does that, and, and yeah. um, they, they feel like that. Yes. <laughs> That's great. Um, so, and what what attracted you to this role, and what, what was the most challenge, challenging part about creating this character? I'll start with you, Mackenzie. I mean, I, I I was we all sort of auditioned to be in the movie before we knew what characters we were going to be. So mm -hmm. um, I was so I mean I love the original so much. It's one of my favorite movies, and I'm just considered Denny one of the greatest living filmmakers. So those two things alone were huge sort of magnets that brought me towards the project. Um, and then once I read, I got the part and I read the script and it was so beautiful and it was so, it, doing the impossible thing of, of like rightfully submitting a, a companion piece to the original that was, it was as beautiful and, and I feel should be made as much as the original. Um, and I just wanted to be a part of this world and work with these people. And I loved the characters. She was so sort of sneaky. And I don't know, I thought about her as like a, like a rat that had survived a nuclear <laughs> winter. <laughs> and, uh, a wet rat. <laughs> yeah, just like a wet rat that kept showing up. And um, I ju yeah, I just, there was no part of it that I, I wasn't sort of aching to be a part of. Sylvie? Yeah, I can only add on to what they're saying. I mean, for me, the same Blade Runner and Denis Villeneuve were, for me, yeah, the big, you know, yes, I would love to, but I'm probably never going to because a lot of girls are going to audition for this part, so don't think about, you know, that whole thing. Uh, and actually, when I, you know, got the part um, and read the script, I, I thought, you know, my character Love has, you know, I had the chance to be able to work with so many different elements, you know, such a rich palette of vulnerability, strength, humor, satire. Um, I think, you know, she was, she's a fashionista. She's, um, she's conflicted. She has so many sides to her, and I thought, you know, that was just so, I was so grateful as an actress to be able to get this part and be able to work with that, you know, such a great um, responsibility and chance, yeah. Mm. She was a kick ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and if you had to describe this story without, of course, obviously giving too much of it away, well, how would you describe this story? It's an, uh, obviously an extension of the first film, but how would you describe the theme or the story here? Hmm. It's like a search <laughs> for. Oh, you said. No. Yeah, no, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> it's all, I mean, it's just, it's a. It's a beautiful opera, but it's just a very simple sort of human story of somebody trying to find out where they came from, where they're going, why they're here, if they mean anything to anybody. Um, it's really lovely and, and, and the whole emotional journey is quite like intimate and small. It just takes place in this beautiful operatic universe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just these people trying to find their own identity and trying to connect with someone or something that gives sense to their existence. Yeah, I agree. I thought you said like it felt like an opera to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you know these huge scenes and 
you know, my heart started pounding in my throat and then these small, intimate dialogues where you're almost next to Ryan. Mm -hmm. or, you know. It's almost like this action thriller futuristic film and the, it doesn't, the tempo of the movie, it, it's not being conditioned by this huge universe. It's like, it keeps going the way it's supposed to be, like very real and very human and very, you know, intimate, mm -hmm. you know? It's not rushed by where the place we are living in. Mm -hmm. Given the, um, you know, the, the first film has obviously become very iconic and has held up over all of these years, do you feel that audiences will need to go back to that one in order to understand this one? Or do, it, does it stand on its own? It fully stands on its own. I think they should because it's also a beautiful movie and it just deepens the experience. But it's not, um, it's not a sequel in the sense that there's a bunch of information that you won't understand if you mm -hmm. don't mm -hmm. watch the original. It, it's really a standalone piece. I mean, if you obviously watch the first one, then you can, you know who these characters are. I mean, uh, Rick Decker in this case. Mm -hmm. and what happened 30 years ago, but it's a, it's a complete new stories, new characters in, in, in the film, like, um, yeah, so, yeah, you don't, you don't need to see it to relate, and, you know, it is compelling, and it, you, you, you care about these characters, and, yeah, for that, I don't think you need to see anything, right. just connect mm -hmm. with this. Yeah, the unique role is a, a love letter to the original. So I think it's nice to see the original, but it's definitely a Denis Villeneuve film, I think, you know. And speaking of Denis, what did he bring to this project as a director? He's just such a, <laughs> he has Everything. such a huge inner wor world. His inner world is so magical and he has, I believe, you know, such a talent in communicating that world to his crew and his cast and just creating this very safe environment where everybody feels that they can be vulnerable and just, you know, improvise and try things and come up with ideas. He's, I think he really has a very strong core of belief in his own ability. He's just so very talented. Mm -hmm. I haven't really met yeah. anyone like him. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's great. <laughs> That's great. We love I him. Deeply, deeply love him.